Xero is a great tool, and today I'm going to show you how to make sales invoices in Xero and everything else you need to know around that. Let's do it. So Xero is a great cloud accounting program. It manages your entire business finances uh, with the help of an accountant, of course. And one of the best things about it is creating your sales invoices and seeing who's paid you and having it all in one accounting program. So let's get into showing you how to make your sales invoices. So I've come into Xero here through my web browser and I'm going to click at the plus icon to create an invoice. You can do so by clicking the sales overview as well, but I'm just going to do it by clicking this plus icon and click invoice. This takes you to your sales invoice screen. Here you can select which customer you want to send it to. I'm going to click this customer here and choose your date and the due date. And with the due date, you can set a default due date, um, but I'm just going to choose the 29th here. The invoice number works itself out automatically, and you can choose a branding theme. Um, and if you want to change your branding themes or create a new one, go to Accounting Advanced, and then click Invoice Settings to change your branding themes. You can select items. I won't go into items now because it's a bit more complicated. I can do a different video on that. Choose your description, obviously something you want to give to your customer. And choose the quantity of this item and the value. Put any discount that you want. And then these accounting codes, they're called nominal codes. I won't get into this now, but again, I can do a different video on it. But just choose sales. Different VAT codes but obviously just you want to use the standard 20%. Tracking categories, I've done a different video on tracking categories, so if you want to get into that, um, see how you can do more rich invoicing and reports. Um, amounts are in exclusive v of VAT or inclusive of VAT, so this £1,000 that we've put, is it including VAT or excluding VAT? Gives you the option there. And then you can just hit approve invoice, if you want, you can do approve and add another, or you can just save the invoice if you want over there to the left. So this invoicing system is obviously very good in Xero. Um, allows you to just make invoices on the go. There's also a, you can do this through the web browser, like I'm doing here, or there's also a Xero app for your mobile. Go into accounting, sorry, go into business now, and to sales overview. And this is the whole area for your sales invoices. It shows you which ones are awaiting payment, which ones are overdue. So thank you very much for watching this video on creating your sales invoices in Xero. Please like and subscribe. Um, but it's not just about creating sales invoices. It's about tracking whether you've been paid or not. Um, and there's lots of different things you can do with sales invoices as well. So I will do a more advanced sales invoices video in the future. Thank you very much.